What I'm going to make in this volleyball layout is a volleyball brush, and I'm making it from a element that I downloaded, one of the embellishments I downloaded from a kit, a volleyball kit. So first of all, I'm going to hide this layout, or this, excuse me, this layer. And what we're going to do is open up the element that has the volleyball in that I want to copy. So what I'm going to do is use my marquee tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to draw out the area of the volleyball I want to copy. Now that I have it selected, I'm going to edit, copy, and I'm going to open up a new file, new, blank file, and it'll default to about the size of the volleyball that I just copied. Hit OK. Then I'm going to edit, paste. Now, the only thing I have to do is select all of this, and I have all of this loaded in my selection. I'm going to now turn this selection into a brush, so I go edit, define brush from selection and it as you can see my volleyball shows up and I can name that volleyball hit OK now that brush will be in my brush palette when I go to use it so I can close this now and I don't have to save it and I'm just gonna minimize this now I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna now set up my brush so first of all, I want to make it a red color that matches the Chanticleer logo, our mascot of our school. So I click on that, select the red color, hit OK. I'm now going to set up my brush. I hit brush. I'm going to open up the brush palette. Here's my new volleyball that I added, so I'm going to select that. And I can close that down. I'm going to set this size to around 170. I'm now going to open up the brush options, so I click on the brush options. I'm going to scatter just a little bit, set the scattering at around two or so, keep it very small, one or two. Spacing, I'm going to uh, pump that up to around 122 or so. Once I have that done, I could close it. And now I simply draw on my layout using my pen tool and my tablet. I'm going to draw a bouncing volleyball. There you have it. Now to make that a little bit darker, that red a little bit brighter and darker, I'm going to duplicate that layer by dragging it again into the new layers and you can see it brightens up that volleyball. So here you have a simple, fast way to make your own brush that you can use using an element that you currently have in your layout. Thank you, and I hope you learned something new from my tutorial.